Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I am Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, Prime Minister Gonzalez says U.S. meeting with Caribbean leaders troubling. And in sports, reggae boys lose to El Salvador. Cops investigating suspected suicide by inmates. The Ellison Road Police are continuing the probe into the circumstances surrounding the death of an inmate who was found hanging at the Tower Street Adult Correctional Center in Kingston on Friday. The deceased prisoner has been identified as 38-year-old Donovan Thompson. The police reports are that about 6 a.m. correctional officers were doing their routine checks when they stumbled upon the body hanging by a piece of cloth that was tied to his neck. The police were called in and the body removed to the morgue. A post-mortem will be done to determine the cause of death, the police say. Prime Minister Gonzalez says U.S. meeting with Caribbean leaders troubling. Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dr. Ralph Gonzalez, has described the recent meeting between United States President Donald Trump and some Caribbean leaders as troubling. Speaking to reporters late Saturday, Gonzalez noted that there was no true representation of the Caribbean community CARICOM as the current chairman of the regional body. Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, Dr. Timothy Harris, was not invited to the meeting. He pointed out that also absent were members of the CARICOM Advisory Committee, including himself, Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley, and Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley. Gonzalez said that CARICOM will not fall victim to the entrapping of others. Emancipation Park, now a Wi-Fi hotspot. Emancipation Park in New Kingston in Jamaica on Friday became the seventh public Wi-Fi hotspot. It was officially commissioned into operation by the Universal Service Fund, USF. Other public Wi-Fi hotspots already in operation include Halfway Tree, St. William Grant Park, Olympic Way, Devon House, the Cecile Charlton Park in Mandeville, and Junction St. Elizabeth. Chief Executive Officer of USF, Daniel Dawes, says that public Wi-Fi will be installed in Sam Sharp Square, Montego Bay, St. James in the first quarter of the 2019-2020 financial year. High school students shot dead in the grill. 18-year-old Kayan Price, an 11th grade student in Green Island High School in Hanover, was shot and killed in the grill Westmoreland on Thursday night. The police report that about 7 p.m., Price and a male friend were sitting under a tree in a yard when two men rode up on a motorcycle. The pillion rider reportedly jumped off the bike and pulled a handgun. He opened fire, hitting Price multiple times to the upper body. The youngster reportedly ran off and collapsed in the yard. The gunman escaped on the waiting motorcycle and the police were summoned and Price was taken to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigations continue. In sports now, reggae boys lose 2-0 to El Salvador at CONCACAF Nations League qualifier. Jamaica went down 2-0 to host El Salvador on Saturday in a game where both goals were their own making. Goalkeeper Andre Blake fumbled the ball when it came to him from a free kick, allowing Nelson Bonilla to tap into the empty net in the 48th minute, while Damian Lowe headed the ball into his own net in the 85th minute. Darren Mattox picked up a red card for reckless play in the second half stoppage time. The Jamaicans only managed two shots during the game, with neither being on target. 50-year-old US-based female tops Kingston City Marathon. 50-year-old Finland-born USA-based Maury Corey took the top prize in the female category for the first staging of the Kingston City Marathon stage recently. 25-year-old O'Shane Archibald bagged it in the male category. Commenting on the inaugural staging of the event, co-chair Nicola madden Greg was quoted as saying, It was the greatest feeling to be at the finish line to see our male marathon winner, O'Shane Archibald from Jamaica, and female winner, Maury Corey from the USA, cross the finish line. The dream of bringing back a marathon to Kingston was now completed, and all the events ran smoothly, she said. Champs Fever, ticket prices. The Inter-Secondary School Sports Association last month announced its ticket costs for the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletic Championships that starts today, Tuesday, March 26. The first day of the five-day event will have a free admission to all areas of the National Stadium, while the grandstand tickets on Wednesday and Thursday will cost Jamaican $500 for adults and Jamaican $100 for children, but the bleachers remain free of cost. On Friday, grandstand tickets cost $3,500 Jamaican, 
while bleachers tickets go for 500 Jamaican dollars. The final day Saturday sees grandstand tickets costing $7,500 Jamaican and tickets for the bleachers go for $1,500 Jamaican dollars. That's it for CGN News and Sports. I am Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.